So welcome to the crew team build. All right, so here we are. That was the lovely almighty Abraham making his first build appearance. We're going to be doing oh. a build contest, though. Mm. We'll see how the almighty Abraham and his Abraham power does for him on a build contest. Also, we have Silicon, Piper, Bonsain, Shots, Swippin', Seton, Sarah, and making her first appearance in a while outside of Sisters, Lizzie. Yay! Yay. All right, so I'm going to go get to my fly -y spot and take a perch. You guys go ahead and head to your mats. If you haven't claimed one, claim one now. Okay, so your theme for this build contest, villains. Now that mm. could be a movie, mm. it could be a TV show, it could be a video game, um, it could be anything you want. You could get a little creative with it. Okay, so the teams have agreed on an hour and a half. Let me get my stopwatch. The theme is villains. Your time starts now.
Sarah, and we'll let you go first, then Swippin. If anyone has to go, um, they, can, they can speak up too, and we'll, we'll, we'll squeeze you guys in. But our first build to show, because she has to leave here quickly, is Sarah. So Sarah, take it away. Okay, my build is Cruella the Vil, in case people hadn't guessed that yet. Um, this was the first person that came into my head and I know she's quite iconic because of how strange her hair looks and being that she's from 101 Dalmatians and a lot of people watch Disney films. So I hope you like it because I've tried to make her look as funny as possible with as much detail as I possibly could in the time that I had. So I hope you really do like it. <laughs> okay. Nicely done. Thank you. All right. Now, another build over here uh, is Swippin's, and he has to go shortly. So, Swippin, take it away. Okay. Um, I wanted to have a DC comic villain, and I did not want Lex because it's a bit boring to build. It's a bald man. Um, so, I went with the not so popular series, it's the Green Lantern. Or not the series, but the uh, universe thingy. Uh, and this is Sinestro, is his name. Uh, he's like a yellow lantern and bad guy. So he's a bad guy in a bad 
from a bad movie. <laughs> he's not even if he's not in the movie, so I guess that's make him a good guy. Um, yeah, that's him. Okay, well, very nicely done. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here to the corner. And uh, was this you, Bonsain, or over here? The it's last? Me. Yes, me. Okay, so Bonsain, take it away. Well, I decided to build a Minecraft version of the Evil Queen from Snow White because I've been watching a show recently called Once Upon a Time and she's uh, one of the main characters. Love the show. <laughs> Basically, this is like the Evil Queen, except. If she was like a Steve skin instead of like a human, and that's basically it. And this okay. is the mirror. All right, very nicely done. All right, so now Abraham, are you here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So your build is next. What do we have here, Abraham? Uh, it's a villain from a horror movie called, I guess. Chucky, this small guy who loves to kill people. <laughs> so there's his favorite weapon. It's knife with blood all over it. And yeah, the hairstyle wasn't the best, but that's pretty much how he looked. He didn't have a style, so. And there are scars, scars all over his face. Uh, the black blocks represents that. That's his t-shirt. Yeah, he doesn't have body. Because then he have to be huge, I guess. And his favorite phrase is, Ha ha! <laughs> so, yeah. I will say, Chucky has been, I think, a, um, scared a lot of young kids. Yeah. So, so def yeah. definitely a good villain. Yep. Alright, well, nicely done. Okay, next to uh, Chucky over here is Shots' build. So, Shots, what do we have here? Um, I'm assuming most people have seen Star Wars, and if you haven't, then you probably should. But this is the iconic scene from, I believe it's the, the fifth one. Uh, a new, no, not. Empire Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, Empire Strikes Back, there we go. Um, where, spoilers. Darth Vader tells Luke that he is his father, and prior to that, cuts off his hand, um, which is by the red banners, because I couldn't really do much to kind of signify a cut-off hand with such a small scale. Um, Looks gruesome. But yeah, I mean, for I, I had to take size into account, and this is the best I could do. I'm, I'm not proud of Vader, either. It's horrible. But yeah, right. that, that's it. Yep, very iconic scene. Nicely, nicely done. Alright, now next to you, we have Silicon. And Silicon actually looks like you got some blinkiness, too, going on here, but what do we have? Well, as everyone probably guess and knows my skin being Star Trek. Uh, I decided to do the Borg because they're one of the uh, I wouldn't say really evil but uh, the most difficult villains to deal with in the series. Um, so we have a Borg drone here just hanging out not killing anyone currently or assimilating anyone. I love the flashing this. That's really good. Alright well nicely done. Looks good. Alright uh, next to you is Lizzie. Lizzie, what do we have here? We have Dr. Fetus from Super Meat Boy, and he is holding um, Bandage Girl, and Super Meat Boy is running to try to save her. So, Lizzie, I take it you're a Meat Super Meat Boy fan? Yes, I do like that game. So, let me get a little bit around it here. And uh, any other things you want to say real quickly, or does that pretty much explain your build? Pretty much explains my build. Okay. All right. Next up, we have uh, Seton. Seton, what do you have here? I have built a pixel art of the Joker, the villain of Batman. 
Now, are you inspired by the movie uh, Dark Knight or the cartoon version? Uh, the movie. Movie. So the Heath Ledger. Yep. All right, let me fly around her here. All right, any uh, last-minute comments, pandering for votes, or anything that you'd like to do? Uh, vote for me. All right, well, nicely done. Okay, so now we've already done Sarah and Swippin', so Piper, what do we have here? This is um, the gentleman from um, Buffy Season 4, Episode 10, Hush. And they're horrifying. They're these... Um, demons which come and take over Sunnydale and they come one evening and they take everybody's voices so nobody can talk so you can't scream and if you look in the chest at the front of uh, the front most one and there's a little rhyme in there which is oh horrifying I just yeah the the most horrible creatures I think uh, horrible demons on Buffy ever and the episode was so well done because all the regular cast, like Sarah Michelle Gellar, Alison Hannigan, all the others, um, they can actually speak because obviously the demons have taken their voices. So they had to act it all out without talking. And I think they were nominated for an Emmy, but they never actually won it. And I'm really disappointed that they didn't win it. And in the background, you've got the clock tower here because um, the final battle scene was in um, a clock tower. And then this little chest over here with all the yellow bits coming out. Um, the voices were kept in this little box. Um, so the stained glass yellow represents... Because um, the... the like, I assume it was CGI that came out of their mouths with the voices. With this like yellow smoke kind of thing coming out. And um, yeah, the gentleman. And then they had to take seven. If you look at the rhyme, it says... Um, they have to take seven and they might take yours or something like that. And it's um they need seven hearts, so they go around murdering people and taking their hearts and it's not very nice, but it's a villain in Buffy and I think it's probably one of the most well known villains in Buffy. So all right, well nicely done. All right, so now we're gonna come Thank over you. here to Mario. Now Mario came in late. So what do we have here, Mario? Okay, so I came in and I had an hour to build. I started building the Demon from Insidious, which is a horror film, which would have looked cool if I had tons of hours to build, so took that down. Then I tried to build the Ice King from Adventure Time in 3D, but that was taking ages, and by that point, I had 20 minutes left, so this is what I did with my 20 minutes. It's Plankton from Spongebob um, singing the F.U.N. song while he's trying to catch a jellyfish in his jellyfishing net. Lol. I like the use <laughs> of... um. <laughs> The banners, like, they've appeared in a few people's builds today. Any last minute comments? Pandering for votes, Mario. Um, vote for me because Spongebob rules and GG. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, last and not least, another player who came in late um, was Giz. Giz, what do we have here? Who is your villain and why? My villain is the most evilest villain of them all his name is long shots <laughs> so is this uh, his I, true form this was actually what happens to him after he kills so many people um he's now grown horns out of his head and a tail has sprouted from his behind and he now lives in a fiery cave where he kills people all down below are his victims uh this is me uh, this is Mario, uh, notorious other people he's killed over the time. Um, so yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, there you have it. Let me get back up here now and get a good overhead view of all the builds. Not a great angle that's going to get all of them. You know, some of them are built facing different directions, but you kind of see all your builds. So you guys are going to have one week from when this episode goes up. To vote. Now remember, vote for what you think is the best build that fits the villain theme and that you like. Uh, we'll give you guys a week to vote, and then I'll make a video showing how you guys voted from last place to first place. So, one week, get your votes in, and for all you guys here, if you guys want to say goodbye, we will head out.
Bye. 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 Bye.